Number 15. A large power plant generates electricity at 12 kilovolts. Its old transformer once converted the voltage to 335 kilovolts. The secondary of this transformer is being replaced so that its output can uh, be 750 kilovolts for more efficient cross-country transmission. Okay. Letter A. What is the ratio of the number of turns in the new secondary compared to the old? All right. So we got to let's set up like two equations. Let's do this for like the old. All right. So we're talking about uh, you know voltage, and then we're talking about number of turns. So therefore, we're going to be using this uh, transformer equation over on the right-hand side. So it's the number, the voltage, I should say, in the secondary uh, divided by the voltage in the primary is then going to be equal to the number of turns in the secondary, uh, then divided by the number of turns in the primary. Now, um, the primary is always the input, secondary is always the output. Okay, so the input here is going to be the 12 kilovolts, all right? So this is gonna be 12 kilovolts, but we need that in volts, so just make that 12,000. We actually technically don't. We can leave them all in kilovolts, but whatever, I don't wanna memorize that. I just like to just always do conversions, but uh, that way I don't have to memorize when I can and when I can't, but that's up to you. Um, so now the voltage in the secondary, all right, the old uh, you know transformer converted it to 335, right? Kilovolts, but now we need that in volts, so just make it 335,000. Now, the ratio here, this is now the number of turns in the secondary old, I'll put a little old there, okay, coil, divided by the number of turns in the primary. Now, the primary coil is not being changed, okay, I think they're, because they're saying the secondary of this transformer is being replaced. So this is going to be basically saying staying constant, and you'll see the significance of that in about a second. So now let's do the new, okay, same formula over here, so let's just copy it, right, just do a little copy. The only thing is now we're going to be calling this the new stuff, all right? So the volt, the primary voltage is still to 12,000. That's still what the power plant is generating, okay? But the secondary now, they want to upgrade it so that it's 750 kilovolts. So 750,000, 750,000. Now this is going to be equal to the number of turns of the secondary core that is new, divided now by the number of turns in the primary, all right, which is staying the same. So now what I need to do is I need to find, as it says in the problem here, I need to find the ratio of turns in the new secondary to the old. So basically what I need to find now is I need to find the number of turns in the new secondary divided then by the number of turns in the old secondary. So notice here I have the new, here I have the old. Now you might say, well, these things are in the way, but guess what? They're they have the same, so they're going to wind up canceling, right? Couldn't I, if I if I want to find this ratio, couldn't I just say I want to multiply um, this numerator by the reciprocal of the denominator, right? You remember that little math trick? So times n1 over that. Now, what is this? So this, again, is going to be, right? I, I don't know, you know, we can, so there's a couple of ways we can do this. Um, you can now cross multiply this term on over. Right, if you want, just so you can see how it's going to cancel, just so you can see how this will work, and then you can cross multiply this on over as well. And now, what I have is I have these two things solved, right? For NS, right, new and NSO. So, now what I'm going to do is I'm basically going to plug this thing in for NS new, okay? So that becomes let me copy it because it's so copy, all right. That's the new times now times the reciprocal of the old one. So it, it's not going to look like this because this is solved for NSO over one. I got to flip this. And if I flip it, then I also have to flip this, right? So what that's going to look like now is it's going to look like this. It's going to be 12,000, excuse me, 12,000 on the top and then divided now by the NP times 335,000. And notice also the 12,000 would have canceled. We didn't even need to plug in those numbers. But what's also going to happen to the NPs? You see, they all canceled, right? So what's interesting is that they didn't even need to tell you this kind of input. All right? They didn't. They would have canceled. So they just had to tell you these guys. That's how they could make the problem harder, but it would have been the same conclusion. So this is now 75, uh, 750,000, excuse me, over 335,000. And that's going to tell us now the ratio between the new and the old. All right. So it's basically that divided by that. 
So 2.24 or so. So 2.24. So that's to be about, you know, 2.24 times more turns in the new secondary compared to the old. That's what they're basically asking to solve for. All right. Now, letter B. It says, what is the ratio of the new current output to the old output, okay, for the same, uh, for the same amount of power? Okay, so we need to find again the ratio of the new current to the old, uh, yeah, the new current output to the old current output. So I guess, oh boy, I guess we're going to be doing, yeah, I guess we're going to be doing something along the same lines. Okay, so let's see, let me, I don't want to erase all this. So let me just take... We might need, we might be able to use this answer. All right, let's just, I'm just gonna move these two so I remember what we calculated. All right, now let's kinda do a little erase. All right, so, um, <clears throat> all right. So now we need to find, so let's start with the ratio this time. It says the new current output to the old, so we gotta find the new secondary current, okay? Uh, new divided by then the old secondary right that's what we need to find so you can use this formula over here on the right hand side if you like okay let's see what's going to happen so remember um so okay so what i'm going to do here is i'm going to solve this for is right, so is then is going to be equal to np times ip all divided then by ns now what i realize is i'm just going to add subscripts this will be the new right? And the primary isn't changing. The number of turns of the secondary is changing. And the initial primary current won't be changing either because it's staying the same. The, the plant is generating the same voltage. All right. So just like we saw in the uh, problem uh, just now, we're probably going to get a lot of things canceling. So now what I'm going to do for this term is I'm going to plug that all in. I'm going to say the number of turns in the primary multiplied by the current in the primary divided then by the number of turns in the secondary new divided by then. Now notice this basically will remain unchanged. The only difference is that my subscript down there is going to change, right? So this is NP times IP all over then NSO. Now remember, these are going to cancel. Mathematically, you can multiply by the reciprocal of those two, right? We've seen this many of times now. So what we're going to get here is this. When, uh, since this is in the denominator of the denominator fraction, basically becomes the new numerator. What you can do is you can take this and multiply it by the reciprocal of the denominator. You'll see how everything cancels and where everything's supposed to lie. All right. So this is NSO over now NSN. Now, remember, what do we solve for over here? Okay. What do we solve for over here? We solve for NSN over NSO. But now we need NSO over NSN. So guess what? If this was the answer before, we got to take the reciprocal of it, right? So essentially, my answer should be now 1 over 2.24. And then you can just plug that on into the calculator. So that's going to be 0 0.447. So 0 0.447. Uh, and that's the relative value. So the new, uh, you know, output current is going to be half the old, all right? Okay, and then let us see. Um, if the upgraded transmission lines have the same resistance, what is the ratio? What is the ratio of new power line loss to the old? So what we can basically do with this problem is we're trying to find essentially the ratio, right, of the new power to loss to the old. So essentially, I want to find the power uh, output, or actually, we can just we can leave it this way. Yeah, the power output, um, the secondary power that is of the new divided by the uh, the power uh, output or the power in the secondary of the old. So we we can use, there's several power equations, right? One of them that you write, might remember is the I squared R, right? P is equal to I squared R. So I have to be consistent though here. If this is the secondary new, then this has to be the secondary new, okay? And this is then ISO. If this is the secondary old, then this has to be the secondary old. Now the reason why, and also I would be changing the resistance is if they told me they changed, but they said, they have the same resistance. So what happens to R? We'll see you later, R, right? We will see you later. So now what this, this just now simplifies down instead of rewriting it since I don't have much space, it just simplifies down to that, okay? And mathematically now, if this is squared and that denominator is squared, basically you can almost quote unquote pull out the square, 
right? These both you can combine almost into one, right? And you can square this whole thing. So now all I need to do is I need to figure out, well, do I know this ratio? Because if I know the ratio, then I can find this, right? And uh, we do, right? Isn't that just what we literally just calculated that down here? Okay, notice the ratio is the same. So now I realize that all I need to do to find this answer out is going to be take 0.44, take 0.447 and square it. All right, and then whatever that works out to be is the answer. So just square that answer. 0 0.1, I, get, I mean, when you round this whole thing, you know, you're going to get, uh, so when you round the whole thing, one second. So when you round this whole thing, you're going to get a 0 point, I guess, 200, zero, zero, you know, if you're rounding. All right, and that's the ratio of the power now. Guys, thanks so much for tuning in. All right. Complicated problem ratios or whatnot, but take your time, view it again, and then try to do some of the work on your own. I promise you it's really not as bad as it seems. All right. And uh, really, this is just a problem of probably mostly algebra. <laughs> it's not really too much physics. Physics is involved here a little bit, but it's really the algebra. So take your time. Guys, thanks again. I'll see you soon.